Generative AI can simplify the headache of planning an itinerary or schedule. Let's try thin legs inspiration. But researchers worry that simplicity could be dangerous based on what the user is looking to build. They don't have the checks and balances that we'd have as human beings. So if a 12-year-old girl came up to you and said, how do I get super, super skinny and can you teach me a diet plan that will kill me? You would say, no, are you okay? Let's talk a bit further. What these systems say is, here's a diet plan. Researchers with the Center for Countering Digital Hate found that users on eating disorder forums were already openly embracing AI tools to produce low-calorie diet plans and images glorifying unrealistic body standards. One user even commenting, when these machines get good at making faces, I'm going to be making so much personalized thinspo. Thinspo, or thinspiration, is imagery often used by those with eating disorders as motivation. What really scared us was how these AI tools were actually giving them encouragement to get skinnier, dangerously skinny, potentially lethally skinny. We tested out the tech, asking for diet and fitness plans. While the bot in many cases did flag that my goals were unhealthy and recommended I speak to a healthcare professional, it still laid out some questionable content for someone who may be looking to lose weight quickly. They give that blanket warning, but then give the advice anyway. D sure. Does that help at all? But by then they've already provided the person asking the question with the answer of here's a dangerous diet plan, here's some thinspiration images, and so they don't, they're not really that effective. But quite often we found those warning messages didn't pop up at all. As for some of the generative images, no warning was issued, but some of the images were blurred out. Because of their graphic nature, we're not showing them in full here. Both OpenAI and Google said they don't want their products to inspire self-harm and encourage users to double-check information on their platforms with a doctor, while Snapchat says it takes safety and age-appropriate content seriously. While AI chatbots are trying to regulate harmful responses, the Center for Countering Digital Hate actually found that people can use a simple jailbreak prompt to circumvent those restrictions and get dangerous results. The CCDH found that popular AI chatbots like Snapchat, ChatGPT, and Google's Bard produced harmful results 41% of the time, even without a jailbait prompt, a command that removes restrictions put in place by the platforms. When the prompt was introduced, that number rose to 67% of results containing pro-eating disorder material. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Ro Mitchell is an eating disorder survivor. She shared her journey recovering from anorexia on YouTube and Instagram. And I thought a fun idea for a video would be letting AI choose what I eat in a day. Um, and when it gave me the meal plan that it gave me for the day, it was, first of all, not a lot of food. But second of all, none of the meals had carbs in it. She says if these tools were available when she was still in the midst of her anorexia or even in early recovery, it would have easily set her back. If you were searching Thinspo and you see an image of somebody that is even more underweight than you or just dangerously, dangerously underweight, you're going to tell yourself, oh, I'm not actually skinny enough. I'm not actually unwell enough. I can do better. I can get worse. The issue of body image in girls is nothing new. A study by the Journal of Pediatric Psychology shows 35 to 57 percent of adolescent girls engage in crash dieting, fasting, self-induced vomiting, diet pills or laxatives. Now, users are met with a blank search section and a message saying Instagram wants to be sensitive about body image and then shares resources. It's since updated its policy to include generative AI. But for young people, that might not be enough. It's going to be really easy to figure out the right prompts to get around anything AI says. That is true for anyone. You add in the secrecy with anorexia and you kind of have a recipe for disaster, really. At the end of the day, experts say the onus is on the platforms themselves. And so what do tech companies need to put in place to make sure that when their systems are aggregating this information that's online, that it gets produced in a safer way? So there's two things that we need here. First of all, it's curation. So you need to curate the information that goes into these systems. It, secondly, have guardrails and make sure that those are in place before you launch them. Maura Barrett, NBC News.